In a world where the lines between truth and lies blur, where everyone chooses a side, where facts fade into shadow, from the depths of this chaos emerges a man untouched by borders, unbound by flags. He's neither a nationalist nor a patriot, but stands for something greater. He is a realist, a humanist, cutting through the noise to make sense of it all. The hunt for truth has begun, and he brings to all perspective without borders. Let the world know you are living in the time of Mark Legend Yang Me. By 2045, the U.S. will be a majority-minority country with white non-Hispanics making up less than half of the total population. The new statistics project that the nation will become minority white in 2045. During that year, whites will comprise 49.7% of the population in contrast to 24.6% for Hispanics, 13.1% for Blacks, 7.9% for Asians, and 3.8% for multiracial populations. Since the establishment of Jamestown in 1607, the United States has been primarily inhabited by white people. Of course, after killing more than 90% of the native population. However, the demographic landscape has shifted dramatically over the years. In 1950, nearly 90% of the population was white, a number that declined to 60% in 2018 and is expected to drop below 50% within the next 25 years. Some individuals, particularly white nationalists, yearn for a return to a predominantly white America. However, this aspiration is unrealistic. The trajectory of the United States is leading towards a majority non-white population. This transformation is chiefly attributed to the elimination of segregation. De jure segregation was dismantled through landmark legislations such as the Civil Rights Act of 1964, the Voting Rights Act of 1965, and the Fair Housing Act of 1968. Additionally, numerical restrictions on immigration were lifted in 1965, further diversifying the population. As a result, America's future is destined to be a tapestry of diverse cultures and ethnicities. Genetically, the children of a mixed couple are biracial. There is no term for them yet, but they look very similar to Latino or Hispanic. Last but not least, the low birth rate of white people, the rise of LGBT people, and gun violence all contributed to the white demographic decline in America. Now, just like the U.S. is addicted to lecturing the world on human rights, perhaps it wouldn't take long for the U.S. to start lecturing the world not to identify oneself by the color of skin. If you really want to get rid of racism, first stop calling yourself white or black. Simple as that.